The people who invented the internet had no idea that this would become the basis of society. We've chased them out of the parks, we've chased them out of the malls, we've chased them out of our homes, and so they're falling back on these tools. Big tits, team, squirt. I text them a lot, we tweet each other, and we talk on Google Talk a lot. And have you had a boyfriend in real life? Um, no. I change my status to awake, and then I have my shower come back and then change my status to getting ready. Then I might change it to songs that I'm listening to. Probably change it like 10 times on the way. When you're young and you don't know any other way, you don't understand what some of these forces are or you don't stop to ask. The grown-ups gave our children a communications medium and then it turns out it's a world in which your history is archived by a private company on servers that belong to them for commercial purposes that belong to them. It's controlled, it's profit-driven, its value systems are hidden. When you adapt to something, you're changing something about yourself. I find now that it's so hard for me to actually feel the connection for a girl. Addiction. Continued use of a mood-altering substance, or, or behavior despite adverse dependency consequences. If all these people were to get deleted, it wouldn't bother me. They're only there for entertainment, so I can see statuses and arguments and stuff that happen over the TV. It's not about the actual human beings behind it. No. I'm going to meet Devastus, the guy who set out my life by commenting on one of my videos. Oh, my God! Oh!